What's going on, Solid Steppers? This is Miss Ward coming to you. I'm over in a place called Palm Air, right across from Pompano Racetrack, taking care of uh, one of my customers this morning. And I had something that was really on my mind today, and I just have a question because I really don't understand. I need someone to help me understand how can people be in appliance repair and not have memberships to MSA because of the great webinars and training there, not to mention the sheets, service manuals. I don't understand how you don't have a membership to Appliantology, service man. MSA is $300 for the pro membership. $300 divided by 12 months is what? Same thing with Appliantology. $200 for the membership divided by 12 months is what? Service matters, $270 up to three, I think three or five texts. You can get the people and split that. Like really? Like I don't understand how people show up. Two things, I don't understand how people show up without service manuals and text sheets and call themselves a technician, especially a repair business owner. I don't understand how you don't show up prepared. Secondly, I love Brandon to death. I'm all down for the Voxer group. I think that's great. Um, I feel that, and I've sent a lot of people to them because it's important that they get in an environment where they have some type of technical support and things of that nature. But when I sit back and watch people request tech sheet after tech sheet after tech sheet, like they not making no effort to invest. Even if you go to get manuals lived, and then I know Robert uh, 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 Bartoff, he has a subscription where you can get tech sheets like I don't understand I don't understand how people can call themselves business people and then on top of that I watch these people in this Voxer group that steadily ask for that some stuff but they never given nothing it's like no reciprocating relationship I mean more power to Chris Kelly you know my boy over Durham appliance uh, Chris Ainsworth all those guys over there can uh, all those guys, I look, hats off to you guys, but let me explain something to you. At the end of the day, you can show, you know, you can you can support people and give them a leg up, but if people don't never get off the titty or you can't wean them off the nipple, it's a problem. And it's a problem because this is why I don't have respect for people I call losers because in, when you have an opportunity to get in and you're exposed and you're not improving at any point in any way, that means you don't have it in you and you don't want it. You want someone to spoon feed you the information. You want somebody to spoon feed you the answers. I just have never been that way. I want to go get my own and then I want to grow from the experiences and then I'm going to give credit to the people that put me on. Like I watch several people watch my videos and I know who you are and they be hating on me all, all the time but they damn sure be getting up the they be they be sobbing up the game all day long. But it just talks to your character as a person. You know, if you believe in something, stand on it. Like me, I'm straight to the point. If I don't like your ass, I'm going to tell you I don't like you. You feel me? And you're going to know I ain't like you and you're going to stay 10 feet away from me because you know this is not what you want. Because at the end of the day, I don't trust people who are not authentic and people who don't be bring their best game to the table. We all had to learn. We all had to grow. All of us are still learning and growing. I damn sure am. And this is why I don't allow people to have access to me who drain me. Because at the end of the day, I'm trying to gather up my own stuff. I'm trying to have my own relationships with people are, who are in places where I would love to be. And not only love to get there, but get there and stay there. See, it's a lot of people get to a certain level they can't maintain. And they can't maintain because they didn't have a plan when they got there. They didn't have a plan on the way there. So what I will recommend is that you invest in your education, you invest in your training, that you invest in the support systems that's going to make your business move properly and so that you have a business and not a job. Every day I invest in my business. Every day I know what's going on with my money, my financials. I understand, know what's going on with my business credit. I know what where my weak areas are, where I need to be trained and coached in. I know exactly my strongest subs, their weak areas, their strong areas, what jobs to put them on, what not to, who I can depend on, who I can't, who I might call if I'm in a glit, in a, in a, in a bind, but the whole goal is never to be in a bind. 
because I'm prepared. But I sit here and watch people do the same dumb shit every day. I was just thinking, it's like I'm looking over at this group and I'm like, how come these people have been in this game for six months or more and do not have subscriptions to get these tech sheets? Either it's one or two things, they lazy, they trifling, and they don't want to spend no money, which means they're never going to go anywhere and get anywhere. Because like they say, scared money don't make no money. Then on top of that, you are never going to develop the strength to go and find things on your own. And that is one of my biggest, biggest pet peeves of people who are not self-motivated and self-actualized and who do not have the abilities to go to the next level. Come on, man. You can't say you want to be in the game and play in the game. You might as well go get a job. Like, who are you fooling? At the end of the day, that's who you are. You're an employee and you have an employee mindset. Anytime somebody's sitting here spoon feeding you the answers every day. Now look, let me tell you something. I definitely utilize the support of these groups and I still do, but you don't see me in there twenty four seven. You know, and I got some street cred. So at the end of the day, y'all better figure this thing out, boy, because you, and then you're going to get mad when all your access get cut off because you, and you never learned anything. I was talking to one of my students the other day. I'm so proud of him. Oh, I'm so proud of him. He is such a big boy. You know, this dude is working on his mind. He's in a, he has a full-time job. He has a plans repair business on the side. He's working on his, um, he's studying Linux because he's trying to get his cloud certifications. And the dude is a personal trainer. Like, really? You better be glad I'm on the other team, bro, because you might be the one. But all jokes aside, you know, I meet people from different walks of life, and I love to watch people who really understand that you don't have to be good at one thing. You can be good at everything, and you can follow every dream you want. All you got to do is put the steps in. I'm watching this young man cut his social life down, sit down, and focus on studying X amount of hours a day, focus on uh, working out X amount of, you know, hours a day get to a job and do um, appliance repairs. Man, he don't understand. He is a true renaissance man on every level. And I'm so proud of him and I'm proud to know him. And he's one of my students. So kudos to me for attracting talent, real talent. Not want to be. Not that, you know, I have had people who come to me, well, can you just give me the links? Or I'll go check it out. Well, that's not how it works, dummy. That's not how it works. How it works is, let's see where you are, let's see what you need, and let's get you to the next level. And let's see what approach is going to be best for you, and let's extract the genius that's within you, where you don't need Miss War. I love that. That's what I live for. I live to watch people not only understand and discover their potential, but the fact that they realize they had it all the way, all the while. All they had to do was apply themselves on a consistent basis and do well. You know, and then like for instance, shout out to Bianca. You know, I'll tell Bianca something, she'll apply it, and she'll be like, Miss Ward, it worked. I'll be like, Well, guess what? Did you expect it not to? Yeah, I'm cocky. I can be damn cocky. I done made all the damn mistakes and still making them. So whatever game I get, the people in my circle are gonna get it because I don't want them going through it. When they get those hit those areas and those those spots, they're gonna have to make choices. But the point is, if you did what I told your ass to do in the beginning, you wouldn't have this problem. It's okay, though. This is the same way I learned. I mean, I was just as hard-headed and trifling as everybody else. Still am in a lot of areas. You know, but that's me. I know my problems. I own my shit all day long. I swear, I'm sitting here not thinking about something I need to get my little round brown ass up and do. And I'm sitting here procrastinating like a mug. Because I'm human like everybody else, but I just chuckle at the fact that these people are out of control. They are really out of control. Well, look here. I just want to tell y'all something. Palmer is a secret. I was just telling the young man I was dealing with a minute ago on his appliance. I was saying, man, do you know how many people don't realize the gold mine over here in this little community called Palmer? It's supposed to be 55 and older, but I swear to God, this shit got to be 50-50 now. It was built one way, but they um, they start allowing young people to move in. You know, people start renovating. It's just 
it's just a hidden secret. It's everybody I know, I always tell them when they move to Florida, you move down here, go live in Palm Air. Like no one, number one, number one will ever know you're there. No one will ever know. And then the other piece is, is that they're such, they keep, you know, the neighbors are great. Um, the older people are, are great here. The younger people are great. And the younger people are always young professionals. It's just really, it's it's a really great little community. And then it's like, all oh, it's got its own little pu Publix. It's real cute. It's real cute. And they're developing even more. So I love it. And it's right around the corner from my house. So I really love it. But with that said, y'all, I don't vent it, but please, all I want to know is where's your tech sheet and service man? And do you really have to go beg somebody else to go find it for you? I just want to know. Just explain to me. I, I just want to know. 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 And did you really look for it? That's what killed me. Especially the people that don't know how to use a plantology. I'm like, really? Really? Really, at this point in the game, really, that's the excuse you're using. Yeah, I'm going to call your ass out because I can. Now say something. Be blessed, y'all. Y'all know I got to do it. I, somebody got to do it. It might as well be me. Have a great Sunday. Happy Easter.